First Alert 5 weather. You talk about the perfect storm. We got it here the past couple of days. Big storm system, a soggy spring soaker helped put a big dent in that drought that's been persistent here across the viewing area. 55 is the current temperature, sure is. Nice to see that sunshine across the springs right now. Live look downtown Pueblo, you've got mostly cloudy skies. It is windy in Pueblo right now. Look at that sustained wind out of the southeast at 30 miles per hour. Here's the radar scan. We've got rain and thunderstorms across parts of the viewing area. Nothing severe anywhere across southeastern Colorado right now, but good soaking rains down across Los Animas County, tracking those thunderstorms out near the Kansas border with a lot of dangerous cloud to ground lightning. Again, if you're just joining us now, had reports of a cold air funnel out east of Colorado Springs with those thunderstorms. They are diminishing very quickly, but still dropping down some pretty decent rain across the far edge of Colorado Springs. Seeing some good rains just west of Pueblo. A couple of thunderstorms trying to pop up across Fremont County. Also some rain further west, northwest of Canyon City right now. I'll keep thunderstorms in your forecast here for the next few hours. Then things will really start to quiet down later tonight. Take a look at these rain totals. I'm telling you, we go from drought to drenched in about a week here across the viewing area. Beulah, the big winner, four inches of rain fall just in the past couple of days. Wetmore got healthy, rye over three inches, even on the south side of Pueblo, three inches of water in the past couple of days. And where it wasn't raining, it was snowing. This is also impressive for mid-May, two miles north of San Isabel, four inches, seven miles northwest of San Isabel, even more than that, non Lovita Pass, seven and a half inches of snow on the west side of the pass. As we told you earlier in the newscast, had to close Lovita Pass this morning due to the intensity of that snow. Here's what's going to happen this evening. Still some thunderstorms across South, uh, southeastern Colorado. We'll see a few more than this model indicates, I think, west of I-25, but nothing severe, nothing intense. Cloudy skies overnight tonight. Tomorrow we'll see a little bit of midday sunshine. That'll help destabilize the environment around here. Thunderstorms conceived over the mountains, then make a push across the I-25 corridor. Thunderstorms tomorrow could produce some of that small pea-sized hail across parts of the Pikes Peak region. Most of those thunderstorms staying just off to the west of Pueblo, and everything starts to shut down after sunset tomorrow evening. Outside right now, it is chilly across some of the higher elevations. Maybe cold is a better word to use. Woodland Park right now at 42 degrees, 50s and 60s across the rest of southeastern Colorado. Here's how cold we get tonight, dropping back into the 30s, the higher elevations, 40s up and down the I-25 corridor, and it will be warmer around here tomorrow. Clouds in the morning and then that midday sunshine going to warm us up into the 60s and 70s before those thunderstorms roll off the hills across parts of the I-25 corridor. Just a one on the storm impact scale tomorrow in the springs. Dry skies close to 80 on Thursday. Another dry day on Friday. Then thunderstorms could make a comeback by Saturday. Could even see some strong to maybe severe thunderstorms across parts of eastern Colorado Saturday. It's a two on the storm impact scale. So Sunday, definitely Mike's pick of the litter for your weekend days. And in Pueblo, look at those temperatures. Not a bad number anywhere on the board there. 70s and 80s for your afternoon highs. Comfortable morning lows, but not too warm during the overnight hours. Your warmest day is going to be Thursday, possible PM thunderstorm Saturday afternoon into Saturday evening, then a real comfortable start next week with temperatures just where you like them. Canyon City, a PM thunderstorm possible tomorrow. You'll have dry skies Thursday into Friday, more storms in the mix Saturday, and then a pocket of drier air starting Sunday, continuing through next Tuesday. Fort Woodland Park, I've got you a stormy tomorrow afternoon. Thunderstorms give way to sunshine and warmer air Thursday. I'll keep thunderstorms in your forecast Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Temperatures really comfortable up there for the next seven days. Elizabeth.